it's another lockdown, but the silver lining is we can still ride our bikes for exercise. Now, if you haven't yet taken up cycling, and you didn't buy a bike during the last lockdown, then now is still a really good time. Don't let the bad weather put you off. It's never as bad as it looks. So if you're in the market for a new bike, this is a video for you. I picked five really good bikes for less than 500 pounds, which are perfect if you're just starting out. Everything from drop bar road bikes to flat bar hybrids, there's a real mix here. At the time of making this video, these bikes are available and I'll put shopping links down below in the description. This video only really applies to people here in the UK, but if you're watching in the US, Europe or wherever, and there are bikes you recommend in this price range, feel free to add them to the comment section down below. Okay, with the intro out of the way, let's dive in. We'll start with this bike from Halfords, who most of you will know, I think they sell one in three bikes sold in the UK or something like that. So a really popular seller of bikes. And this bike is a Carrera Parva and costs just 250 pounds. And it's a really good choice if you're new to cycling. So it's a hybrid bike with flat handlebars and loosely based on a mountain bike with 27.5 inch wheels. We've got a lightweight aluminum frame. We've got tough durable tires to ward off punctures. And we've got a wide range gear to help you on the hills and still be fast enough on the flats as well. And the frame even comes with a lifetime warranty as well, which is a really nice detail. And if you need extras like lights and mud guards, they'll even sell you those at the checkout as well. So a really good pick, really good option. Comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large, which should be fine for most people. And just looks a really good, sensible, no nonsense choice for 250 pounds. Onto Giant and their Escape 3 disc. Now Giant is a company that lives up to its name and is a giant manufacturer of bicycles, one of the biggest bike brands in the world. And they're renowned for excellent quality, design and value for money. And this bike for 425 pounds looks like a really good option. So it's a flat bar road bike essentially with bigger wheels than on that Carrera. So a fast bike if speed is your thing. Got flat bars though, so it's more accessible. We're more upright to ride in position. We've got a tough, lightweight aluminum frame. It's got robust, puncture-proof tires and a space for up to a 45 millimeter wide tire. So if you want maximum comfort or you want to fit a gravel tire for going off-road, then this is a good option. You even get a carbon fiber fork and a D-shaped seat post borrowed from the high-end road bikes, which gives more comfort when you're in the saddle. So ideal for smoothing out rough roads. You get a very wide range of gears from the Shimano group set with a triple chain set, which gives you even more options on the steepest climbs. So it should be ideal if you live somewhere hilly. And then we have mechanical disc brakes, give you plenty of stopping power on the descent. So a good package, good reliable components from well-known brands. If you want to step right up to my 500 pound limit, then this Boardman SLR 8.6 looks a really appealing choice. Now, Borman bikes have offered excellent value for the last few years, and this really is the case here. It's a really good looking bike, and as first road bikes go, I can't see anything in the fault on this bike at all. So we get a lightweight aluminum frame with welds so smooth, it looks like a carbon frame from a distance, and a fork is in fact carbon fiber to help save a bit of weight. You get Shimano's excellent Claris group set, which you normally see on bikes costing a heck of a lot more money, so really good shifting quality and a reliable group set as well. You get high quality tires from Viatora, a well-known Italian manufacturer of tires, and these have added puncture resistance, so it should be a good choice at this time of year, when it's more likely you get a puncture because of thorns and crap on the road, but these should be a good choice. Now on the website, the bike isn't available until mid-January, but it's almost mid-January, so hopefully by the time you're watching the video and check the bike out, it should be in stock. So it's at the upper limit of my price range for the video, but as a first bike or even a second bike goes, this looks a really good option and there's nothing I would change on this bike at all. So definitely one to check out. Here in the UK, Decathlon is a French mega sports store that sell everything from kayaks to tents and lots of bicycles as well. And their Triband range is a name that most of you will know. Make excellent, really value oriented bikes that don't cost a fortune, but are really good for performance and excellent with equipment as well. This is their cheaper model, the RC100, which costs just £280. But despite the low price, it looks a really good bike for the money. So that is an amazing price and you get an amazing looking bike for the money. It's designed to be a comfy bike and also an easy bike to ride. 
So we've got one single chainring at the front rather than two or three you get on other bikes in the video. And that makes changing gear much easier because you have one gear shifter for the rear mech at the back. Despite that limitation, you still have a wide range of gears, so it should be fine on a wide range of hills, flat roads, and everything in between. You get a really smart looking aluminum frame, which is good for low weight and high stiffness, everything you want in a performance road bike like this Triband RC100. The bike comes with wide 32 millimeter wide tires, which is good for extra comfort. You run low pressures, get much more comfort. So if your roads are as rough as my look of roads, and you want some more comfort and smoothness, then these wide tires will definitely help. They also have anti-puncture materials in them, so hopefully you won't get any punctures on this bike at all. The final bike on my list comes from Evan Cycles, a popular and large retailer here in the UK, and the Pinnacle Lithium 2 costing £400. Now Pinnacle is the company's own in-house brand that they launched a few years ago and covers everything from road to gravel and mountain bikes. And this is one of the cheapest models in the range, but it doesn't look cheap at all. And in fact, looks really good value for the money. So you get a tough and lightweight aluminum frame, just like all the other bikes in this video. And Shimano's tawny triple chain set with all the gears you need for steep climbs, fast descents and flat roads. But the best thing about this bike is you get high quality tires, normally a shortcut on bikes at this price range. But here you get Continental's contact speed 40 millimeter wide tires. These wide tires give you a lot more comfort than the skinny tires you get on a road race bike and are much more accessible and easy to ride on a variety of terrain from smooth roads, rough country back lanes, even off-road, forest tracks, canal towpaths and everything else you might want to do. So these tires really give you a lot more opportunity to ride wherever you want and give you more comfort as well, more traction and to reduce the risk of punctures as well. The Lithium 2 is halfway between a touring road bike and a mountain bike. So you get the big tires from a mountain bike and a more upright ride position like you get on a mountain bike with flat handlebars, which are higher and closer to you. So you're not as hunched over the bike like you are on a race bike, less strain on your back, and it's an easier and more accessible bike to ride, especially important if you're new to cycling. You don't get disc brakes on this bike like you do on some other bikes in this video, but you do get Texro V brakes, which should be plenty powerful enough in most situations. And the bike is available in three sizes as well on the website at the moment, so good pick if you want a more robust bike than go everywhere and do a bit of light mountain biking, it will be good on the road as well. So there we are then, five really good bikes for less than 500 pounds. That's perfect if you're just starting out with cycling. If you have any questions about taking up cycling for the first time, put them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully this video has been useful and if it was, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want more cycling content, bike reviews on a regular basis, make sure you hit the red button down below. With all that said, just leave me to say a big thank you for watching and I'll see you all again next time.